kitty. I was up fasting all the other day. Got them eight nuts. Twenty-seven dollars worth. That's kind of nuts. Yeah, it's worked on the IB a little bit more. I put it in, crawled under there, and check transmission oil. Wasn't a drop in there. Wasn't even any drain plugs in there. So I put drain plugs in and filled the oil. Now it's pretty good again. So it's all good to go now. Then I had to travel with the skid loader. This bottom pipe there on the radiator broke loose again. Got to put it on the right direction this time. I think it'll be all right. Yeah, I went out in the field yesterday and got this big old trailer of mine. And a load of used barn roofing. I had a heck of a time getting it up. I even had two tires went bad on me on the way up. But I got it here. Now I'll go around back of the old corn crib and show you what we did. Yeah, I got that done. Got the whole back wall all covered finally. It's not the best of job, but you keep the cold air, no rain from blowing in. Something I've been trying to get done for 50 years, and I finally got it done. It looks like it'll don't look too bad. Could use some paint, but it'll last long enough. And I don't know where I got a good deal on the deal or not. An Amish fella wanted me to find him something, so I found him something. And it was what he wanted. And I told him if he nailed this old used tent on the back of the barn, I'd trade even up with him. And he thought that was a pretty good deal. So I guess he ended up, he traded me a day's labor for my $40 investment. Now, I don't know if he'd have bought it elsewhere. Uh, he'd probably had to pay two, two, two days labor for it, but yeah, whatever. All right, that's all for now. Yeah, good morning. Here's something else I was working on this week. Old case 800. I had a chance somebody wanted to buy an 800. And I don't need this thing too bad, so I thought, well, I'd offered it. And so I thought I'd come out here and get it going. But things ain't working out very good. Anyhow, I put in the shed here, oh, I don't know six eight years ago maybe I don't know where is that long or not don't seem like it anyhow had the exhaust covered intakes covered drove it in running good everything except well dirt and gas tank so I had a temporary tank on it anyhow I put the battery in and uh, it didn't work seems like kind of got stuck solid so I take a wrecking bar and put it in there on the ring gear and that don't do nothing it's tight so I don't know I'm gonna pull the spark plugs out and take that there Harbor Freight boriscope look down and see what's going on inside well, see, see how it looks. Put some soak them in it, and see if I get it going. Now, I don't know if I got to put all that work in it. I might not. I, 
I don't know whether I want to sell it for a price I offered it at or or uh, maybe just not want to sell it no more if I got to do that much work or might offer the guy for well basically what I got in it just get rid of it I don't know uh, anyhow so that's what I'm up to now so I'm going to shut this off and check out spark plugs and oh, see if I can take a picture of what's ever on the inside. Alright, that's all for now. Yes, while we're out here in a corn crib, there's something you don't see every day. A little steel wheelbarrow. I started pushing that thing around 70 years ago. Looks like it wore the tire out. I don't know, I'm, I have to restore that one of these days. And a wagon, I don't know when I got that, but it's been up here a while, long, long time too. Yeah, it's getting ready to rain. I better put this 830 back in here. At least keep the seat dry. Oops. Uh, I cleaned the carburetor, hooked up temporary gas tank, because got a hole in the big gas tank uh, it's out of gear uh oh go get my key I got a hot wire everything around here this thing's stuck <clears throat> all right let's see if we can make it run it did run a while ago That spark. Oh, yes. Got back out of the roof in time. 